got to play against. So uh, we have Barry Freezer. That uh, we do. Barry Freezer hailing from uh, Kansas, who has moved to Nebraska. Uh, last week we had the, the Arcadian. Uh, so I'm playing in Dubs Grand Finals mm -hmm. uh, against Freezer. And deep breathing, that like fair. Yes. Like a deep breathing, we fit trainer turn into a fastballer. Yes. And then that move has like no end lag on it in the first place. And I'm just like, yep. oh, oh, hold up. Oh my goodness gracious. Gosh, Candle dang. said he's not going to be able to hold a candle to me. The downer to kick off this match and doing it in a way that I think the average player might struggle a little bit versus me. But I think as strong as the ground game can be at times when deep breathing is online, it's the offstage presence, whether they're coming to get you or they're just offstage stalling that I think is why the average player is going to struggle, but not Candle. Oh, Candle yes. said, let me show you something with this down here, bro. Because the majority of people, when you see B-Fit trainer offstage, you're just like, you know what? I, I don't want spend, no parts. I don't want no parts. This character has numerous spike moves, uh, crazy hitboxes I don't understand, you know, mm -hmm. uh, thousands of stalling techniques, yeah. but you know, I was like, you know what? We, we got to end these stocks quick. Yes, that we most certainly do. We fit, of course, no slots on the ground, frame four jab, frame five up tilt, and of course that dash attack coming through pretty quickly as well. This character takes no prisoners, but you know, as much as I say that about Noodle, they are the one that is down to stop. Yes, dash attack coming through, very explosive, deep breathing back online, but we'll see for how much longer the blue one had the right idea, but there's the back throw. Try to watch yourself, Oof. nice. He said, heads up, buddy. Chest pass. Up some space to make it back onto the stage. All right, I'm just dealing with the back here, out of shield. Very quick, strong moves coming out. And then we have another deep breathing online, but you're sitting at 133. Purple back here is going to take the stock. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of backers come out from Wii Fit. That one being their quickest one out of the, the ones that they have. So definitely makes sense, especially to have a character applying this much pressure close like Candle. Not just wild pressure, too, a very stylized sort of approach. Making sure that before they approach properly, you know, they have the right level of pigment in order. In the corner, you know, we've seen that blue one come into effect. Right now, he knows the percent high. He's not stalling off stage like how he typically does. Purple pigment about to get to work. What's up? I think uh, right now it's just like in super rush mode, just trying to get Ooh, back onto the stage. Yeah. And, I mean, that's what you can tell in the head that it's done. Yep. We didn't see the stalls like you talked about the wee bitch like to do. Right. Got on the stage and immediately dash attacked the Olimar shoe. And I'm like, I think my boy, he's already mentally checked he's out. About, yeah, game, he's about man. checked out. He's, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Start calling y'all rides. <laughs> Next game's a punch. <laughs> that was <laughs> just the funniest. Have, have your parents sign you out. <laughs> Start calling y'all rides. That's me back when I used to do the basketball games, man. I used to be like, all right, man, fourth quarter, you know, you're halfway through, start calling y'all rides. I ain't trying to be here all night. I used to tell them kids how it was. Now, all jokes aside right now, I got to tell y'all how it was right here. And uh, I got to be honest, Candle kind of came through and uh, he set the match ablaze. Noodle, of course, a very strong opponent. We definitely, I mean, again, just looking at the current landscape of Wii Fit Trainer, we certainly had an idea in mind of what this character was going to do. But got to be honest, though. When I feel like Olimar Alpha, whatever skin you're playing, they're applying that pressure of close. It's very hard to alleviate that. I don't care what type of nerf this character has received. Oh, yes. And, uh, like, the weird thing, so a, a lot of people see Olimar as a campy character, but he also has the ability to play very aggressively if he chooses to. Bro. But we Fit Trainer is just seen as a, like, bro, you're just going to be very defensive. Uh, then you get that deep breathing, mm -hmm. and then Ooh. you have the option to, like, all right, I'm going to come in because, like, the things that I do are going to apply a lot of damage onto your shield. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my Lord. Oh, gosh, decrease in lags because, you know, you're fast following those aerials and things of that sort. But, you know, if you don't have that, like, right now, you just have to be, like, yep. very passive. Yeah, you're kind of in trouble right here. And that's kind of the nature we've been trainer. A lot of the match is played through a very passive front, very similar to what we've seen earlier when we were commentating the, uh, the Mii Swords Fighter. They have a very stylized game plan that works. It's just so overbearing of a plan. It works to the ultimate rules. You know, it's really not, not the ultimate rules, but the Smash Engine is like, yo, I'm off stage. I'm getting deep breathing. Like, I'm becoming a lot more elusive, a lot harder to fight. I'm off stage, like rinse and repeat. Um, you know, again, the average player is going to struggle, but, you know, not Candle, though. Candle's doing really, really well here. And, uh, well, no, one thing to note, too, in my personal opinion, I've actually talked to Logic about this at uh, VGBC. You know, he kind of believes that, uh, you know, Oliver has one of the best ground games just in Smash general, bro, like yeah. in Smash history. Like, this character is just designed for absolute chaos once you meet them heads up, and we're seeing exactly why right here. Three purples, this ain't nothing nice right here for the oh, opponent. Man. Well, I guess two purples. Now, I think they might have gotten rid of one, but it doesn't seem to matter. Has another one on the utility belt. Purple one all by them lonesome. That means that Candle's ready to get up close and personal. 
and, and that one right there just holding shield uh, but I mean when you're up three stocks to one you don't have too much to worry about no. and that was a very solid ladder combo tagging on 51 percent uh, just trying to slowly crawl his way back into this game but for that to happen he's gonna have to get away get this Pikmin off get a deep breathing but Candle's not gonna allow that to happen yeah, Candle right now, I mean, they're just completely playing out of their mind. In a way that, again, you don't really see a character like Weep, especially a player as talented as Noodle, getting handled like this. You know, there are very some key things. Oh, wow, I love Oof. that. I love that falling up into that back air. Again, back air sometimes. I want to see a little bit more, especially while we're in this deep breathing mode. Once that back turns to the opponent, you're going to see one of two things, I'd imagine. Possibly a cross up there, or maybe one of three things. Possibly a cross up there, but for sure, like that F tilt or definitely that backer there it is right there backer being the quickest of the aerial options great stuff I'm curious to see what they're going to do to dig deep this is probably as close as it's been since they both had three socks in the match set go most definitely all right sitting at 112 damage but uh, still not a character that you can count out because you know, we fit trainer is able to put on so much damage on the olimar olimar being an extremely light character also susceptible off stage versus a character uh, like we fit that has a couple of spikes but uh, you know we really haven't seen that come into play too much we've seen a couple off stage interactions and that up throw is just gonna launch noodle yeah God. you know i think again the throw game is something from candle that they really exceed in um a character like we fit they're gonna do a lot of empty jumping in front of you i mean we see that with characters like zss you know characters that just kind of have those those aerials that are just really hard to pinpoint they're gonna do a lot of empty jumping to try to bake something out of you um, you know, when you have essentially a tether grab, depending on which pick me, I mean, really they all are, but like the blue one specifically, like that one goes to furthest, if I'm not mistaken, you're going to get grabbed. Like empty jump as you may, I'm going to grab you. And uh, once the, the little blue one gets his hands on you, it's, uh, it's some real problems for you, so. You gotta do it, cross your fingers and hope at that time. Mm -hmm. All right, but uh, moving into this game number three, Ooh. Ooh. it seems like slowly Noodle is figuring things out. Yeah. Starting off this game with a lead. Okay, trying to get these Pikmin off. Yeah. But, uh, so I think one of the things that really works in Wii Fit Trainers, <laughs> ooh, favor, back air, got all of our sitting at 100%. But one thing that works in Wii Fit Trainers, uh, favor is just being a really wacky character. And a lot of times people aren't really sure what Wii Fit Trainers doing, mm. how to handle a lot of these things. But very early on, it seemed like Noodle just knew. There are a lot of times when Wii Fit hits your shield and you think you have the opportunity to punish, but you don't. Like when Wii Fit Trainer is doing forward air on your shield, you do not have time to react. You are going to get hit with a forward tilt, but we saw Candle staying in shield uh, at a time that a lot of people probably would have dropped and tried to punish. That's right, yeah. And it's all about those little moments where you time things properly that really can kind of go the distance in the end. And I think Candle right now is starting to realize that, you know, I'm not as much in control of the, the pacing of this match as I once was, you know. Noodle had a game plan those first two games, you know, slow it down, you know, disengage, boom, boom, boom. And it's just like, son, like, my entire arsenal, like, that makes me me is about disengaging. Like, if I send these Pikmin to come get you, you're going to be in some trouble. No, you know what I'm saying? You off stage, that's fine, but you're still being hit by these Pikmin. There's the forward throw. Serves up. Not quite able into the blast zone, but still good damage nonetheless. I love that. Hey, I'm starting to realize, too, how Noodle got this far. We see it kind of struggle a little bit in this matchup because, again, just Olimar and Candle. But that falling up air into that back air, plus deep breathing, you know, the tilts becoming a little stronger, all that, I get it. Like, I can see it. And he's starting to kind of realize, oh, if I just slow this down a little bit and lean into some of the things that makes me great, the things that, you know, kind of allow me to get to this portion of bracket, I might be able to reverse this. Okay. Good damage on that shield. Coming in, you got to deal with two purples and a blue. This is grab game right here. Grab game, stage. and if you get too close, you get beat down. Okay, now you know that purple ain't going nowhere when you throw it. Okay, back row, clean. Oh, ooh, gosh. My. I like that right there, going as deep as humanly possible in a way, again, versus a character like Leaf that we don't typically see very often. Double up or triple up air. Dice gets another backer. That C stick is getting flicked right here. Woo! But wait a minute, showing us some signs of life and giving us a rinse and repeat of that final stock in game number two. Percent's just about the same. Okay, just one purple Pikmin there. Okay, give me something with that frame for a job. What's up? Oh, oh dang. damn. Catching the up smash, Candle. 3-0 fashion. Saying, you know what? I'm trying to get this bracket over. Sorry, Noodle. Mm -hmm. 